Hey guys, welcome back to another edition of the Irish Pantheon. Today we are doing God DN Fitch. Um, sorry the pronunciation is wrong. I am trying my best to do it. I use free translation to get the pronunciation of these people, of the gods. Um, I really appreciate your support. Um, one of my friends, Dancing Rabbit, just commented that I am becoming a real witch apedia. <laughs> That's kind of neat. Um, anyhow, I am just doing these videos for information purposes for people to understand about the gods. Um, anyhow, um, Dean Fitch, um, is, um, the child of God Dagma, um, which I just give that one away, Ollie. Anyhow, he had a few divine children as well, and he is important in his story, the all important. Well, anyhow, here is his titles, alternative names and spellings, and symbols. Enjoy. Hey guys, welcome back to God Dean Fitch. Now, God Dean Fitch, um, he was God of five things here. He was God of healing. God of medicine. God of reincarnation. God of magic. God of silver walking. Now, a very interesting um, thing about God DM Fetch is he's actually a handicapped god. Yes, that is true. The gods are not perfect. And some of these gods actually have handicaps. Um, the thing that makes Dean Fitch handicapped is that he lost his hand in the battle of one of the battles of the triads. Um, and that is part of the reason why he has got a silver walking is because he made his hand a silver to adapt it. So it's kind of like he was the first person to make a, um, artificial limb for himself which I find very interesting. Um, his symbol, as you see in some of these pictures, is the eye. I don't think I put that up there. It should have been. But it is very, um, I like these pictures I got of him. Um, and I found it very interesting that he lost his hand in battle and he is the first handicapped god. Um, his sacred animal is a lion. His secret color is silver. His secret element is air. His secret Sabbath is in bulk. His associated planet is unknown. His representation is the medical symbol. Now, what's interesting, um, not well, silver, of course, is a hard color to do. That's why the the boxes in the beginning were gray. They were supposed to be silver. Um, anyhow, silver 
would be his sacred color because of the silver is usually the color of the goddess, um, not the color of the god, which is interesting to me. But it makes sense because he made his hand of silver and he has got a silver walking. Um, silver walking basically is smithing of silver. Um, his Sabbath being in bulk. Um, in bulk is, um, if you ever heard of it, is St. Bridget's Day. Um, St. Bridget is very famous for in bulk. And having the representation of the medical symbol, since she is a handicapped god, and overcame his handicap, and is still a royal today. Um, he's actually known to actually take care of um, the handicapped as well. Which I didn't put down there. Um, but he actually does do that as well. Um, he has, because he has got of um, medicine, he has herbs. He has four sacred herbs, which are all related to healing purposes. His sacred herbs is dandelion, clover, chickweed, and the hazel tree. His mother was God, goddess Boan. And his father was God, Dagma, father of the gods. And his level slash wife was goddess Danube. <coughs> Excuse me. Now, what's really cool is Danyun is goddess of earth, but she is also a mother goddess of many, many goddesses um, and gods. And Danyun is usually had a lot of children of Dagna, his father. So, it's um, kind of interesting that he got Danyun, but he had a lot of divine children by Danyun, and they are is listed here. Okay, um, that is it for God. Juchin, now I can't even know what I was saying. His name was pronounced. Sorry about that. Well, anyhow, the next god on our list will be God. Can you pronounce his name? Here he is. He is a smithing god. He's much like um, Hep Hephaestus in the Greek mythology. Anyhow, this has been it. And I hope that you all have a blessed day. Bye.